did you know that using keyboard shortcuts can make you up to 40% faster compared to relying on your mouse? Studies show that mastering shortcuts not only saves time, but also keeps you focused and in the flow. I can tell, not only because I love shortcuts and almost exclusively use them every day, but also because I have helped millions of people here on my channel to learn the best shortcuts. So in this video, I'm going to reveal 12 powerful keyboard shortcuts that will transform the way you navigate Windows, making your workflow smoother and more efficient. Let's dive in and start with a little known but super helpful shortcut. So I guess you know that feeling when you have multiple applications open and you're constantly moving your mouse around, just switch between them. It can really break your concentration and slow you down. But what if I told you there's a quicker, more efficient way to cycle through your open apps without ever lifting your hands off the keyboard? By simply pressing Windows and T, you can instantly cycle through all the apps you have pinned to your taskbar. This shortcut is a lifesaver when you're juggling multiple tasks and need to jump between different programs quickly. It not only saves you time, but also keeps you in the zone, reducing those tiny interruptions to add up throughout the day. So when you press Windows and T, the focus shifts to your taskbar and each press of the T key moves the highlight to the next app. Once the app you want is highlighted, just hit enter to open it. If you're already using an app and just want to see what's open, this shortcut gives you a quick overview without any extra clicks. So with Windows T, you can effortlessly navigate through your taskbar apps, keeping your workflow smooth and uninterrupted. But sometimes I like to move even faster, switching between all my open windows without the clutter of thumbnails. That's where the Alt and Escape shortcut comes in handy. It allows you to quickly cycle through all your open windows in the order they were opened without any unnecessary distractions. This straightforward approach lets you stay focused on your tasks, making your workflow much more efficient. Here's how it works. Just hold down Alt and press Escape to move from one window to the next, following the sequence in which you opened them. It's a simple and effective way to keep your momentum going, especially when you're deep in a project and need to stay in the zone. By using Alt and Escape, you'll save time and reduce the hassle of searching through windows, helping you stay on top of your work with minimal interruption. Give it a try the next time you're managing multiple tasks and see how much smoother your multitasking can become. If you like the simplicity and practicability of the video so far, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and grab your free copy of the essential guide to 3x productivity. Let's be honest, are you tired of feeling buried by your to-do list, constantly running out of time and never making real progress? If you're exhausted by the daily grind, wasting time and stressing out without seeing the expected results, then you need this guide. It's packed with proven strategies that actually work to triple your productivity by mastering three key areas. Building solid structures that keep your day organized and focused. Creating simple systems that make managing your time, tasks and priorities effortless. And supercharging your workflow with Microsoft 365 tips that save you hours. So if you're ready to reclaim your time, reduce your mental load and get more done every day, don't wait. Sign up for my newsletter via the link in the description, grab the free guide and start making real lasting progress today. So with all the escape, you've got a fast, no frills way to jump through your open windows. But sometimes you need a bit more precision, especially when you're managing a lot of tasks and programs at once. Let me share how I handle this in my daily routine. In my typical workday, I usually have multiple windows open. My browser for research or translation, a document for notes, Outlook for emails, one or the other presentation, maybe a contract in Word and maybe a couple of spreadsheets. If I had to click between each of these every time, I'd lose a lot of momentum. That's where Alt and Tap comes in. This shortcut has become my go-to tool for switching between tasks without breaking my flow. It's simple but incredibly effective. When I'm deep into a project, I use Alt and Tap to quickly hop from one window to the next. It's like having a bird's eye view on 
all your open apps, letting you navigate your workspace with ease. Just hold down the Alt key and tap tap. A grid of thumbnails appears, showing you all your open windows. You can keep pressing tap to cycle through these thumbnails while still holding Alt. When you see the window you need, just release both keys and voila, you're right where you want to be. I find Alt and tap particularly useful when I'm managing several projects at once. I'm faster than Alt Escape because I can see exactly what's open and more comprehensive than Windows plus T since it covers every window, not just taskbar apps. It's a small upgrade in how you navigate, but one that makes a big difference when you're in the middle of a busy day. As we have just seen with Alt and Tab, you can see all your open windows at a glance and quickly jump to one that you need. Sometimes, however, you might want to open a new app or program that you have not yet open. So there is no thumbnail that you can click. I have just recently discovered a shortcut that can help you out here and can be a real time saver, especially if you're like me and rely heavily on a few key programs throughout the day. For me, that's Outlook, Google Chrome, Word, Excel, OneNote and PowerPoint. So instead of clicking around or cycling through your taskbar with Windows T, there's an even quicker way to get to them. Here's the trick. If you've pinned your most used apps to the taskbar, you can open them instantly with windows and a number, where the number corresponds to the app's position on your taskbar. For example, if your file explorer is the first icon on the taskbar, you'd press windows and one to open it. If your browser is the second, it's windows and two. For me, this is especially handy during those busy stretches when I'm constantly switching between my main tools. Rather than getting lost in a sea of open windows, I know I can press Windows T to jump straight to my browser or Windows 3 to pop up my emails. It's all about minimizing the steps between you and the task at hand. If you found these shortcuts useful so far, I bet you also like my brand new productivity booster pack. This essential toolkit includes more than 100 flashcards, each packed with a unique productivity method in five crucial categories personal effectiveness, personal growth and well-being, professional development, interpersonal skills and strategic planning. So whether you're refining your personal habits, enhancing your professional skills or planning your next big move, these cards provide actionable tips and techniques to help you thrive in every area of life. Ready to boost your productivity? Then click the link in the description to secure your pack today and take the first step towards a more organized and productive life. So let's do this together. Now that you know how to efficiently switch between programs or open new ones, let's look at how to navigate within them. Imagine this. You're working on a lengthy report or reading through a dense article online and you need to locate a specific word or phrase. Scrolling through line by line is not only time consuming, but also frustrating, especially when you're under a deadline. This is when Control and F comes into place. Control and F is one of those essential shortcuts that I use all the time, whether I'm searching for a key point in a document, hunting down a piece of data in a specific spreadsheet, or trying to locate a specific topic on a web page. It's fast, easy, and it saves you from endlessly scrolling or manually scanning through text. Simply press Ctrl and F and a search bar will pop up in most applications, whether it's your browser, Word, Excel, or even PDFs. Just type in the word or phrase you're looking for and you'll be taken straight to the first instance of it. You can then use the arrows or enter to jump through each occurrence of that term. What I love about Control F is how it streamlines my workflow instead of getting bogged down searching for information. I can find exactly what I need in seconds and get back to the bigger picture. It's one of those shortcuts that once you start using it, you'll wonder how you ever managed without it. Now let's move on to your browser and look at two very common use cases. Picture this, you're working on a project, researching online and you've got multiple tabs open with important information. Then in a moment of distraction or just by mistake, you close one of those tabs. Maybe it was the one with that crucial article or data you were about to reference. Normally, this would send you into panic, trying to remember the URL or searching through your browser history. 
And if you're like me, I sometimes have way too many tabs open with way too many search prompts active, which always makes it difficult to find what I need in the browser history. But with Control, Shift and T, there's no need to worry anymore. This shortcut has saved me countless times. Whether I've closed a tab accidentally or realized a few seconds later that I still need it, Control, Shift and T instantly brings it back. It's like an undo button specifically for your browser and it works like magic. So whenever you close a tab by mistake, just press Control, Shift and T and the last close tab will reopen right where you left off. You can even press it multiple times to recover several tabs if you've closed more than one. This is incredibly handy when you're deep into research or have a dozen of tabs open and can't afford to lose any of them. So with Control Shift T that, by the way, works for all major browsers, you can easily recover lost tabs and keep your research work on track. Let's talk about something that can further speed up your navigation in the browser, but as well as when organizing files on your computer. Even if you don't realize it, one of the most frequent tasks we all do, whether online or in our file directories, is navigating through different locations. Typically, this involves moving your mouse to click on the address bar before you can type in a new URL or file path. It's a small step, but it can become a repetitive and time-consuming task, especially when you're trying to stay efficient and away from your mouse. And that's where Control L comes in. Ever since I discovered this shortcut in combination with the next one that I will cover in a minute, there's no need to use my mouse anymore when browsing the web. So with this shortcut, you can instantly highlight the address bar, whether you're in a web browser or file explorer and start typing right away. I find Control L especially useful when I'm switching between multiple websites or navigating deep into my file system. It keeps my hands on the keyboard and my workflow uninterrupted, making it easier to stay focused and get things done faster. Now let's stay within the browser and as promised, show you how never to return to your mouse when browsing the internet. If you're like me, you often have a bunch of tasks open at once. This could be anything from just five that I have always on or 10 to 20 when doing some research. Switching between them using the mouse can be slow, especially when you're in the middle of something and don't want to break your flow. That's why I rely on control and page up or down to quickly move between tabs without taking my hands off the keyboard. This shortcut is incredibly useful when you're multitasking or just need to switch between tabs rapidly. Instead of clicking each tab individually, you can jump to the next and previous tab in an instant. So while in your browser, hold down the control key and then press page up to move to the previous tab or page down to move to the next tab. It's particularly quick when you have a keyboard that has the shift button right next to the arrow keys and the page up and down buttons. That's the case with my Lenovo laptop and I love it. In combination with some of the prior shortcuts, such as Alt and Tab, I can move around all my tabs, files or programs in no time and without ever touching my mouse. Now let's come to the next super simple but essential shortcut you need to remember because we all know how quickly files can pile up, whether it's on your desktop or on your downloads folder. So when it's time to get things organized, creating new folders is the first step. Instead of right-clicking and digging through menus, you can just use Control, Shift and N to create a new folder instantly with just a few keystrokes. Whether you are in a directory in File Explorer or right on your desktop, just press Control, Shift and N and a new folder will appear immediately, ready to be named. Once you have typed the name, just press Enter and you have created a new folder in maybe two seconds. I use this shortcut constantly, especially when I'm working on multiple projects and need to keep everything neatly sorted. Even better is the combination of Control, Shift N with the next shortcut, which makes renaming those newly created folders or any file quick and easy. So once you've created a new folder with Control shift n the next logical step is to give it a meaningful name. As I mentioned earlier, when creating a new folder, you can instantly give it a name. But you might change your mind or need to rename other folders or subfolders to make the new folder fit into your filing structure. Normally, you'd have to right-click the folder, choose Rename, and then type in the new name and press Enter. 
but there's a faster way, F2, which lets you rename files and folders instantly without ever reaching your mouse. So once you've selected the file or folder you want to rename, just press F2. The name will be highlighted and ready for you to type in the new name. Once you've made your changes, just hit enter to confirm. If you need to rename multiple files in succession, you can do so quickly by selecting the next file and pressing F2 again. Using F2 to rename files is a quick and easy way to keep your workspace organized. But what if you make a mistake, like accidentally renaming the wrong file or worse, deleting something important? That's where our next shortcut becomes your best friend. I mean, we've all had those moments where we wish we could take back what we just did. Whether it's renaming the wrong file, moving something to the wrong folder, or even deleting something by mistake. In all those situations, Control Z is the ultimate lifesaver, allowing you to instantly undo your last action and get back on track. Here's how it works. No matter what program you're in, whether it's a file explorer, Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, or even a browser, Control Z lets you undo the last thing you did. Accidentally deleted a file? Control Z will bring it back. Renamed the wrong folder? Control Z will undo that too. Personally, I can't tell you how many times Control Z has saved me from making a mess of my files and how often I use it on an average day. Probably I would be pretty interesting to count that, just as how often I use all those other shortcuts. But as much as I rely on Control Z to undo mistakes, there's another shortcut that's just as important when you need to bring back something you've undone. While Control Z is great for quickly fixing mistakes, there are times when you might undo something and then realize you actually want it back. That's where Control Y comes in. This shortcut lets you redo the last action you just undid, giving you complete control in any direction over your work. So if you've used Control Z to undo something, like removing text in a document or moving a file, you can press Control Y to bring that action right back. It's incredibly useful when you're making changes and want to toggle between different states to see what works best. Whether you're editing a document, organizing files, or working in Microsoft Office, Control Y is a quick way to redo what you just took away. I find Control Y especially handy when I'm deep into editing or formatting a document. Sometimes I undo a change only to realize it was actually the better option. Then instead of redoing the work manually or using my mouse and clicking the undo button, Control Y instantly restores it, saving me time and keeping my workflow smooth. Now that you've got these powerful keyboard shortcuts in your toolkit, your work life is about to get a lot easier and maybe even a little more fun. But if you're ready to take your efficiency to the next level and truly master your keyboard, watch this video next, where I'll show you even more simple but incredibly effective shortcuts that will save you tons of time in the long run.